part of my ongoing journey into metal, I'm visiting the cities that are important to the story of this music. And so while I'm in Montreal for Heavy MTL, I've come off site to meet with Luke LeMay, the founder of Gorguts and one of the original extreme metal musicians from Quebec. Now, I grew up a huge fan of Gorguts and still listen to their early cassettes. So I want to ask him what it was like to grow up as a metal musician in this province. When did you discover metal music? Uh, maybe grade, uh, let's say four, because mm -hmm. I had a, a cousin which was living like a street down from our house and he had this little Iron Maiden like uh, 45 uh, mm -hmm. RPM, how do you call those? 45? Uh, like a single. A, a, like a single, a 45, yeah, smaller. Yeah, yeah, 45. Yeah. I got this and I got Made in Japan, running free with the Diano. Yeah. And then Bark at the Moon, uh, in grade five or six, yeah. and then of course, when Scream Bloody Gore mm -hmm. came in the picture, mm -hmm. that was like the, the perfect um, continuum, you know, yeah. to this aesthetic. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so death metal came in the picture pretty early, right. pretty early. Part of the reason why I wanted to talk to mm -hmm. you is that Quebec has a reputation for um, a place where metal has always thrived and done quite well. Of a course. lot of people listen to this music yeah. in this province. So. Um, take me back to your earliest memories of the Quebec, the Quebec scene. Uh, the shows that happened in, in Quebec back in the days, because uh, Maurice Richard, mm -hmm. uh, which was Voivod manager in, in the early days, mm -hmm. had, had, had made two shows, two very famous festivals for the 80, early 80s. Uh, World War III was the first one, and then after you had no speed limit. Right. Okay, so these are the first uh, I heard about, you know, having big metal shows in Quebec. That, that was my first uh, mm. uh, uh, memory that, oh, that's happening here. We don't need to go to California or whatever. And I guess the other perspective that I've heard in the past, not only about Quebec, but other areas where religion is very strong, uh -huh. you also tend to find a lot of metal in the sense that maybe from a very young age, kids are wanting to rebel against something that's very sort what of imposed, a dogma. If you yeah, will, and that's the first tool a teenager will have. Right. His music, you know, yeah, makes total sense too. Right. Right. The last question, what is it that you want people to know about this place? Uh, I think Montreal is a very creative place. It's very welcoming and it's wonderful, you know, to have this festival. A lot of music is happening here and uh, I've, I've made so many new relationships because of music here. Can't talk about Montreal without having music. They go hand in hand. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Thank you, sir.